My new name is Sandra. And, well, I got that name in 1965, but let's go back a few years. I was built at Bryan in January 1951. And, well, I was the last of my class, number 34110. My name was Scott, Sixth Squadron. And the first engine I met was an E2. His name was Tommy. See him in a kind engine. And, well, he taught me how to do things, but he couldn't really help us much because he was just a little shunter while I was a big express locomotive. Huh. Fun. I pulled passenger trains on Southern Rail for a good few years. <sighs> but, in the 1960s, a C was being phased out with diesels. In 1965, I got retired, but I got bought by a man called Finn McClock. He was originally born in Germany, but moved to England in the 30s. Well, I think he said 20s or 30s. And he brought me to his private estate in the hills. Where, well, we became close friends. And he taught me some German. I don't speak it much, though. But I learned how to say my name in German. I was named after his great great grandmother, Sandra. But I rarely spoke my name. Those were the good old times. The good old days. I stayed with Finn for many, many years. And we talked a lot. The siding, which I sit in his workshop behind the man's, right next to his house. So we talked to each other from his window. It was fun. He didn't have any children at all. Grandchildren, none. He was by himself with me, just sitting there. It was fun. But in 1995, he had sadly passed, and two people were bidding to buy me. At an auction, the man in purple suit bought me for seven hundred eighty-seven thousand, but he didn't pay the man, and he just took me. And the man that I was auctioning it, you, know, you son of a! And well, he didn't say the rest. And well, as I was told, I replaced an engine called Dennis. I don't know why I replaced the Stennis, but he said, I heard him say while he was going past me that he would kill all of the engines there. <sighs> he left angrily, and I had come in, and I introduced myself to all the engines there. There are very odd engines working there. But I had gone to work after a good 30 years. <sighs> That's how I can get to work. But this place was different from any other place. <sighs> it was fun times. And they all introduced themselves to Paul, Charlie, and that took me, and Neville. Neville was the most odd looking out of all the engines. But... Well, I soon got used to my new home. <sighs> it was quite an interesting time. But after a good six years, it was just me and Neville. We were the only ones left. Charlie was killed and Paul was sent away. But in 2023, we made an alliance with Edward and Spencer to find Paul. Because we suspected that he was still alive in Roman Sodor. Because Spencer had apparently seen him. I don't think this could be too useful, but I'll help them find Paul. I'll help the SEP as much as I can, and I will serve them well. They saved me from death, and I'll help them the same.